Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Popuri Facts back with another video. And trust me, you won't want to miss this one. And let me tell you, this one is going to keep you up at night. We're diving into some seriously spooky stuff. We're diving deep into the darkest corners of history to uncover the weirdest, the scariest, the most what the actual heck moments our ancestors tried to forget. You won't believe some of the things that happen. Like seriously, buckle up, grab a blanket, maybe some popcorn, extra butter please because things are about to get creepy. You might want to keep the lights on for this one. We're talking plagues that make you dance till you drop, literally. Imagine being forced to dance until you collapse from exhaustion. Ghost ships sailing the high seas, appearing out of nowhere and vanishing just as quickly. The stories behind these ships are chilling, and mysterious manuscripts that nobody can read. These ancient texts have baffled scholars for centuries. I mean, come on, history is full of these crazy stories that seem like they're straight out of a horror movie. But the truth is often stranger than fiction, but the craziest part? They're all true. Every single one of these tales actually happened. So, are you ready to have your mind blown? Let's do this thing. Get ready for a journey into the bizarre and the terrifying. Let's dive in. Chapter 1. The Dancing Plague. When grooving meant dying. Imagine this. It's 1518 you're in Strasbourg, France and people start dancing in the streets. Not a cute jig but full-on, non-stop, convulsing on the cobblestones kind of dancing. For days, weeks even, people were literally dancing themselves to death. Historians are still scratching their heads over this one, some say it was mass hysteria, others think it was ergot poisoning from moldy rye bread. This whole thing just goes to show you history can be pretty messed up. Chapter 2 the lost colony of Roanoke. Seriously, where did they go? All right, guys, get ready for a mystery that's even more baffling than Kylie Jenner's disappearing lip fillers. It's 1587, and over a hundred English settlers arrive on Roanoke Island. Three years later, their supply ship returns and the entire colony has vanished. The only clue? The word Croatoan carved into a tree. Theories abound. Integration with local tribes, curses, diseases, even alien abductions, the lost colony of Roanoke remains one of history's greatest unsolved mysteries. And honestly, that's what makes it so creepy. It's like what if one day we all just disappear, and the only thing left behind is a cryptic message on a Starbucks cup? Chapter 3. The Cadaver Synod, The Dead Pope's Day in Court. It's 897 AD, and Pope Stephen VI is not a fan of his predecessor, Pope Formosus. So, he puts Formosus on trial. The catch? Formosus is dead. Stephen has Formosus's corpse dug up, dressed in full papal regalia, and propped up on a throne in the middle of a church. Formosus is found guilty, his fingers are chopped off, and his body is tossed in the Tiber River. The Cadaver Synod is a chilling reminder that sometimes the scariest monsters aren't lurking in the shadows, they're wearing fancy hats and sitting on thrones. Chapter 4 the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom, when Jesus had a brother, and things got bloody. Our story starts with Hong Xu Quan, a Chinese scholar who had visions that he was Jesus' younger brother. He started preaching his own unique brand of Christianity, amassing a massive following. Thus began the Taiping Rebellion, one of the bloodiest conflicts in human history, with over 20 million deaths. Hong's forces clashed with the Qing army for over a decade. The rebellion eventually crumbled, but it left an indelible mark on China. Chapter 5. The Dyatlov Pass Incident. Seriously, what killed these hikers? Alright guys, get ready for a story that's colder than my ex's heart, and creepier than a clown convention in a graveyard. It's 1959, and nine experienced hikers set off into the Ural Mountains of Russia. A few weeks later, their tent is found abandoned, ripped open from the inside. The hikers are scattered around the campsite, some partially dressed, some with horrific injuries. Theories range from hypothermia-induced paranoia to secret government experiments, but the truth remains elusive. The Dyatlov Pass incident remains one of history's most baffling unsolved mysteries. Chapter 6 The Ghost Ship Mary Celeste Ahoy, anyone home? Okay guys, let's set sail on a tale that's more mysterious than the Bermuda Triangle and spookier than a pirate with a toothache. It's 1872, and the Mary Celeste is found drifting at sea with a crew that had vanished into thin air. The ship is mostly intact, the cargo is there, the crew's belongings are undisturbed. Theories range from waterspouts to pirate attacks, but the fate of the Mary Celeste's crew remains a mystery. 
It's a chilling reminder that the vastness of the ocean holds secrets we may never uncover. And honestly, that's what makes this story so captivating. Chapter 7. The Curse of the Pharaohs. Don't open that tomb. It's 1922, and archaeologist Howard Carter discovers the tomb of King Tutankhamun. Shortly after opening the tomb, a series of unfortunate events befell members of Carter's team. Lord Carnarvon, the expedition's financier, died from an infected mosquito bite, and others succumbed to strange illnesses and accidents. Scientists and skeptics point out that most of the deaths could be attributed to natural causes, but the legend of the Pharaoh's curse persists. It's a story that taps into our deepest fears of the unknown, reminding us that some things are best left undisturbed. Chapter 8. The Black Death's Dance, Macabre. When death went viral, literally. The Black Death wiped out a third of Europe's population in the 14th century, and inspired a bizarre artistic trend, the dance macabre. Artists depicted skeletons dancing with the living, leading processions of people from all walks of life toward their inevitable demise. The dance macabre was a way for people to process the overwhelming grief and terror that surrounded them. It was a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the universality of death. The Black Death may be long gone, but the dance macabre remains a haunting reminder of the power of art to reflect even the darkest chapters of human history. Chapter 9. The Green Children of Woolpit. Lost and green, and no, not from eating too much broccoli. It's 12th century England, and two children with green skin emerge from the woods in the village of Woolpit. Their appearance is startling to say the least. They speak a language no one understands, a tongue foreign to the villagers, and claim to come from a land where the sun never shines. This land, they say, is shrouded in perpetual twilight. The children eventually learn English slowly but surely adapting to their new environment, and reveal that they're from a place called St. Martin's Land, a mysterious realm, an underground world where everything is green, the trees, the grass, even the people. Theories range from rare medical conditions such as chlorosis which could explain their green skin, to refugees from a nearby village, possibly Flemish immigrants who were displaced. But the true origin of the green children of Woolpit remains a mystery. No definitive answers have ever been found. It's a reminder that sometimes the most unbelievable tales are the ones that capture our imaginations and leave us wondering, what if, what if there really is a hidden world beneath our feet? And what other secrets might history be hiding just waiting to be discovered? Chapter 10. The Mysterious Manuscript of Voynich. Seriously, what does it say? Okay guys, Get ready for a mystery that's more baffling than a Rubik's Cube made of hieroglyphics. The Voynich Manuscript is a book filled with bizarre illustrations and text written in a language no one has ever seen before. Imagine a book that looks like it came straight out of a fantasy novel, with pages upon pages of strange plants, astrological diagrams, and naked women bathing in what appear to be interconnected tubes. Scholars, cryptographers, even codebreakers from World War II have all tried to decipher it, but no one has been able to crack the code. These experts have used every tool at their disposal from linguistic analysis to computer algorithms, yet the manuscript remains stubbornly indecipherable. Theories range from an ancient herbal remedy guide to an elaborate hoax, but the truth remains elusive. Some believe it could be a lost language or a cipher that has yet to be understood. Others think it might be an elaborate prank from the medieval times designed to baffle and confuse. The Voynich Manuscript remains as enigmatic as ever, a tantalizing mystery that continues to fascinate and frustrate scholars to this day. It's housed in the Bainica Rare Book and Manuscript Library at Yale University, where it draws curious minds from all over the world. It's a reminder that there are still mysteries in this world that even the brightest minds can't solve. Despite all our technological advancements and intellectual achievements, some secrets remain locked away waiting for the right key to unlock them. Outro. Well, there you have it, guys. 10 of the weirdest, scariest, and most mind-boggling history facts that will make you question everything you thought you knew about the past. From dancing plagues to ghost ships, cursed tombs to green children, history is full of surprises. So, which fact creeped you out the most? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, especially if you know any history buffs and subscribe to Popuri Facts for more fascinating and slightly terrifying content. Until next time, stay curious, stay safe, and don't trust any dancing skeletons you might meet.
Bye.